Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. This is a Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. What the? Oh, it's you, Ruben. The old guy. Oh, whatever. Oh. Um, hey, guys. Welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. But we don't have time for this, so let's just get on with the intro. Hey, howdy, hey, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum. Oh shit, we are in the professor's lab, and Professor Rowan's gonna look at our Pokemon. Our Piplup's happy with us, even though we've lost to Zane, like, already. And I'm going to give Piplup a nickname you guys will not see until we are in Jubilife City, which is the next town. So, yeah. Anyways, we are going... You know, Professor Rowan's gonna give us something. It's basically a staple of the Pokemon series, the Pokedex. He's going to give us the Pokedex, if you haven't noticed. As you can see, it's pretty simple that he's gonna give us the Pokedex. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna tell us about the Sinnoh region and how he wants us to catch every single Pokemon, yet it's not required to catch every Pokemon in the game, you just need to see all of them. Well, not all of the game, but like, in the region itself. National Dex comes by itself. You know what I mean. Okay. Dawn says she has one too, and I don't care. <laughs> all I want to do is just get rid of this text, and that way we can just start with the journey, but I'd rather listen to Professor Rune. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chimchar Route 201, we have the same Pokemon now, but not that matters. Anyway, I'm done. I know who you are. You're that ratchet from the anime. I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, onward with the journey. What? Ruben! I have something good here. He gives us TM27, which I believe is return? Yes, it's return. Basically, it... Um... Well, yeah, he explains it right there. Basically, if my pip likes me so much... I could teach a return and that attack will do way more damage than it's supposed to do. It's a good attack if you like it. Well, Napoleon. Well, when I get an Napoleon. Well, you'll see. Goddamn. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking of if I could teach that to a member of mine in the future. We're going to catch a Pokemon today, actually. <laughs> Place your bets, everybody! I'm telling you right now, it's not a Shinx. So, don't even think about it. Okay. I'm not even paying attention. So she wants us to go tear her parents, so let's go cut up. Hello, Mom. I warped you with editing. Welcome home, Ruben. I made dinner. Dinner. Okay, so she wants us... She's gonna give us a journal, which is what we're gonna need to... Well, I don't know what the hell journal does. It's pretty useless. But hey, it's just for your adventure's sake, I guess. Let's see. Oh look, it's Zane's mom. He's my little Zane here. Oh look at the little boy, he has mince craft. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he is reckless. Yeah, he is Zane, not Brian. Won't you, Ruben? Oh god, I have to give him the park hell. The parcel, the parkel, what the fuck it's called. It's basically Zane's dildo. I have to give Zane his dildo. Alright. Let's go, guys. I'm gonna go give Zane his dildo. 
Okay, we're back in San Jim, and now we're leaving to Route 202. Oh, that's right. I haven't shown you how to catch Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one with me. Here we go. Our first Pokemon battle. So I'm going to show the touch screen for the first time in the whole entire playthrough. Um, yeah, that's our Piplup right now. As you can see, he's pretty pimping right now. Okay, so we're gonna have a uh, Don's Chimchar you scratch. Well, this battle is not really like turn based, it's just a tutorial. It happens in every Pokemon game. And my phone just got a text. Who just texted me right now? Oh, congratulations. My friend Jake just texted me. Hi there, Jake. You're on the show right now. <laughs> God damn it, Jake. I'm trying to record. Whatever. <laughs> okay, we got Bidoof, which well Don got Bidoof. I'm not catching up Bidoof. The almighty Bidoof. Giggle. See, isn't that neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP as low as possible. Basically, if you lower the Pokemon's HP, yada yada yada, you'll get a better catch rate. Well, not a better catch rate, but it's easier to catch it. Wait, that is a better catch rate. What the fuck am I even talking about? Oh my god. Okay, so she gives us Pokeballs. And now I'm going to speed this up right here, because this route is pretty long. And I want the episode to be kind of short, so yeah. Okay, we're done. Whew, that was weird. Okay. Hi, Ruben, are you can you Pokemon? Um, I think you feel a lot safer if you catch some more. Well, fuck you, bitch. My team members in the next route. Fuck you. That man, what is he doing? Holy shit! Is that who I think it is? Is that the 10th Doctor? Um... What? Mysterious man. Oh, wait. <laughs> How do you un- I should read in a British accent, that way he could be the doctor. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I'll read it right now. Just trying to- see. Quite admirable you are. I'm the Globetrotten Elite- <laughs> I know, I shouldn't- Well, his name is Looker, basically. And he's basically a policeman who goes around every region in the world. He's in X and Y, and Black and White too, and this game. Well, he's first started out here, I believe, yeah. So he goes to every region. He's awesome. He's one of my favorite Pokemon characters of all time. I would laugh so fucking hard if you just find a TARDIS park somewhere. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, so Don is telling us the tra uh, trainer school is there, so we must go inside there. Okay. But first I want to check something, actually. Let me... Well... Let's see, this route. Can I actually go past this? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep. We can't go there yet. We have to actually go to the trainer school. I want to catch my team member now, but I guess we'll have to get it later. Yes, it's going to be in this episode. It will be. Alright. Okay, so there's an item over here. I believe this is an antidote. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm way off. Where do I get an antidote? I forgot. Well, here's Zane. 
And no, I'm not here to study because I'm a Pokemon trainer, so fuck you. Yeah, I gave you the parcel. Which is your dildo. Oh, there's two dildos in there? Well, thank you. I got the dildo too! Hooray! Every time I lose and my Piplup dies, I'll put this dildo up my butt. Ha ha ha! That's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna battle these people off screen. Alright, Jubilaf City. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and we're gonna heal up our Piplup. Because there's a tough battle coming up. Well, actually, no. First, we have to get a little something that's required. Well, I don't remember if it is required. Well, I no, I think it is required. Yeah, we need to get this or we can't leave Jubilife City. Okay, so... Oh, either way, it's non-skippable. So, this guy wants us to get some stickers. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna cut this until we get them. I'm not gonna show them. You get them. I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't want to show them. It's just because like, I really want to keep these episodes kind of short, but they have a lot of progress. So we get the Poketech. Poketech, whatever you pronounce it as. Basically, the three clowns are in Jubilee City. There's one right there on the, on the right. And, well, basically what the Poketech, Poke whatever it's called, does. It's basically like a little fun calculator thing. I don't know. Okay, so there's a clown there, there's a clown on the left. Yeah, well, whatever. We could go to this route now, so it looks like we can catch our next team member. But first, I want to check if we're all heal up. Yes, we are, because we have a battle coming up with Zane. And I feel like I'm going to lose. Oh, God. Hey, Ribbon, tell me you got a little tougher. Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hopefully, and he has two Pokemon, and I couldn't defeat the first one. Imagine how he is now. A level 7 Starly versus a level 10 Pimpoleon, son. You're gonna get fucked up. Come here. You think you got shit on me? You won't get shit, alright? See, Pimpoleon owns this shit, alright? Fuck you. Alright, let's do this. Bubble, bitch! That's right. Alright. Growl isn't gonna do crap. Oh wait, that's gonna be bad. <laughs> you sly motherfucker. Well, we beat Starly. That means we're gonna grow a level, obviously. Hell yeah. Pimpoleon, bitch. And here comes... Turtwig. Oh god. Unfitting music, go! Whoa, that actually was kind of fitting because we have just defeated Turtwig. Mmm! Take that, you bastard. That's revenge. Pimpoleon got his revenge, dude. Fuck you, Zane. What's going on here? I lost! No! <laughs> yeah, you lost. You're fucked, kid. Go away. Oh, you're gonna go to Orberg. That's the next city. But first, we must catch our next team member, which is and this route, so I'm going to see if... Oh, I love this route's theme, by the way. And I'm going to see if we can catch it. Well, no, actually, it's in the Orberg uh, cave. And... Yeah, it's in the... It's not in the route. Well, it is in the route, but pretty rare, but it's easier to find it here. I, you guys can guess what it is already. If I could find... Uh, that was by accident. Uh, <laughs> okay, this guy's going to give us a hidden machine, which is HMO6, which is cut, I believe. No, Rock Smash, actually. Yeah, it's Rock Smash. Um, 
Basically, we need the gym badge, and we're gonna do that in the next episode. But first, we must find our next team member, which is bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Zubat, the most annoying Pokemon ever in a cave. Yeah, you guys probably expected that after you saw me go into this cave. I'm going to catch this Zubat, and he will be our second team member. Oh, I'm very excited to uh, train this little guy, and I am really glad to have him. So let's go Pokeball! Damn straight, we got ourselves a Zubat. Awesome. Alright, Zubat's data was added to the Pokedex. It checks its surroundings and location for reflections. Basically, it's blind as fuck, and I'm going to give it a nickname, actually. You guys will see the nickname in the next episode. In the next episode, indeed. <laughs> um, well, you won't see who the nickname is until the next episode, so yeah. I'm going to end the episode off here, so I'm going to train up Zubat a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to end the episode off right here. So, yeah, next time on Pokemon Platinum, we are going to go to Orberg City. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye-bye.